Hey, what's going on guys? It is Gamerman here and welcome to a very interesting video. Um, I didn't think I'd be making this video until this commenter right here suggested the video. So, um, freaking kudos to you for bringing that up. Uh, I didn't think of that. And so, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how to use Unity Mod Manager to edit your game with mods. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your browser and go to nexusmods.com. It's very important that you go here because this is where pretty much all of the mods for Railroader are located. You then want to find the upper search bar here, go to mods and select games and type in Railroader. It'll then pop up the game Railroader here and it'll bring you to the main page. Now here you'll see new mods for the day, new mods for the week, your latest, the most popular of the last 30 days, they're of all time, trending, random, updated, and tracked contents. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut and I'm going to show you the process of downloading a simple mod. Alright, so the mod I'm going to be showing this off with is a mod I've already installed, but basically we can just take it from here and show you what's up. So this is the Streamlined A26 Atlantic Streamlined mod. And you'll see that there's the original images, there's a couple photos here demonstrating it, and you can look at it in more detail here and what have you. But what we are really interested in is going down to requirements. Now, right here in requirements, you'll see that it needs asset loader, Lego man, Lego train man's library of stuff and Lego train man's logos and de and deco. These two mods right here, and I believe asset loader. One second. <laughs> Yeah, so Asset Loader needs Unity Mod Manager as well. So Offsite Requirements, Unity Mod Manager. So you would click the link and it would open a new link here and you'll come to Unity Mod Manager. You will install this instantaneously. The only thing it requires is essentially you to download this so that you can modify your base game. So you would click Manual Download and it'll bring you to this screen here. And then you select either slow download or fast download. Once you have fully downloaded Unity Mod Manager, it will download in a zip file. So it'll go to your downloads and it will be in a zip file. You need to unpack the zip file and then open it. You need to open it and you'll find Unity Mod Manager installer. You need to go here and you need to find this right here, this application needs to be run as administrator. So you would go here and you would select it and then you would automatically run as administrator. When that is done correctly, you will see this window pop up. This is Unity Mod Manager itself. You will then select the game you want to mod. There are a ton of games that use Unity Mod Manager but we are specifically focusing on Railroader. So then you would go to your mods list. As you can see, I have a ton of mods. The ones that are established as status okay are mods that are functional. They are ones that are working in game. Any mods that you see, like the Streamlined P4, uh, P48 mod, I don't have that installed. I don't have there's another mod that I have that is not installed. The Southern Railway P43s, those are not installed. But everything else is installed. So, then what you will do is you will reopen Unity Mod Manager, you will go back to your other mod, and you will take these files, and you will do the same process, you will download them. But, once you download these, and they show up in your downloads folder, you need to sort them so that you know what mods are what. For example, in the Railroader mods files, I have others, which is like random things, tracks, uh, random things that don't belong in anything at all. There is locomotives. This is all of my locomotive mods that I carry. And they need to stay zip files. Some don't, but most will. You'll see right here that Greninja's Whistle mod pack from the beginning of this year is here. That is because this is a very different mod. 
This is a very different mod, so it's a separate thing. And then I have my track mods, so like my Map Enhancer and West Bryson Interchange. These two require a different download setup than the trains. They will require a whole different thing, which I will get into in another episode when I'm done researching it. But you will download the mod and it will show up. So for example, in this case, we'll go to my locomotives file and you'll see right here, streamlined A26 Atlantic class. So you will open Unity Mod Manager, you will then drag the file from your downloads right into the zip file thing here. It will instantly add it to this setup here. Now, you before you even boot the game, you need to make sure it is the latest edition of the mod. If it's an older edition of the mod, it might not function correctly with the current version of the game. So then what you'll do is you'll close out of this, you'll leave Unity Mod Manager open. This is very critical that this stays open, but you'll tuck it away, and then you'll open Railroader. Right, so now you can see that we have Railroader open, and right here is the Mod Manager. This is where all your Unity Mod Manager mods will go. Every single mod will be, for at least Unity Mod Manager, will be in here. So right now, we're focusing on the Streamlined Atlantic. You'll see that the little gr light here is green. Let's say you want to deactivate the mod and not use it. You click the white box and it will deactivate the mod but we want this mod activated. You'll also notice that I have a couple other mods in here that are sneak peeks, such as this particular mod here, the RDC. I'm gonna pop this out as well because this is a recent mod that I added myself. So I'm testing this one along with the Atlantic mod. So you will then click save and close and you will open up a dummy save. Now a dummy save is essentially, and we'll just pick a random railroad name, there we go. A dummy save is a sandbox save. In opening this sandbox save, you are basically telling the game, here's the new boot. You're booting up the new files, you're booting up whatever's necessary. There we go, so now it's all booted up into sandbox mode. My cat is stealing my headphones. So eventually, then what you do is press control shift. Ah, my cat is scratching me now. You will press Control T or Shift T to open up your menu. Select locomotives and you will scroll down until you find the locomotive you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for the Streamlined Atlantic. You'll click Select, you'll click Place, and boom! The engine is automatically in the game with all the scripting and everything you need. Now, the other two mods that you need for this are those customization mods because it allows you to paint the engine. Right now it's this horrid green color. Let's try to give it something a little bit nicer. Later. There we go. Now that the engine doesn't look cursed, this is Hiawatha orange and Hiawatha red. Yes, I did look up the actual colors of the Hiawatha to make sure these are correct. But, the engine is now in the game and you will be able to use it and operate with it and what have you. This is a good mod. I've already done a review on it. Check it out in the little corner in the uh, top of the screen. You'll see what I'm talking about. It'll pop up. But this is that mod. The mod I want to make sure that's functioning is the RDC mod. This is a brand new mod to the game. Very, very new. So this one, I'm just testing it out here. There'll be a proper review on this later. You'll hear it making noises and stuff. Again, proper review on this at another date. All right, it's all booted up and ready to go. We'll just give it a little bit of a trial run here. So you'll get to see kind of what I'm doing here. So this mod I'm not too sure about because there's some extra requirements that you need to make this thing work. But it's basically functional there's a couple of things that i think i still need to work out the bugs on because this thing is not fast right now i don't know what's wrong with it if somebody knows how to fix this mod and make it work properly let me know but yeah no this is a whole different mod and we're not going to really worry about it it's not the start of the show go away but yeah that is how essentially you install a mod and if you install the customs mod and what have you, 
You'll also get mods like this upcoming review as well that we'll be doing very shortly. Here's a little sneak peek. This mod's very different. They, each mod has its own steps that you have to follow. But if you're using Unity Mod Manager, it's a drag and drop situation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification button. Become part of the gamer team. Also, be sure to use my creator code right here. Link on the screen to Dubby Energy. That's D-U-B-B-Y dot G-G dot com or dot G-G. Here's, it's, it's an awesome energy drink co. It's really freaking cool. I love their products. I'm getting some of my, their products soon. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.